Ooh, fuzz. I caught it. Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I am filming the BookTube newbie tag. Now, I didn't know about this tag until after I had posted my first video. Otherwise, I would have done this tag as my very first video on my BookTube channel, but I found it afterwards, and I'm still very much a booktube newbie, so I think it's a pretty good time to do this tag. I wasn't tagged by anyone to do this tag, I just thought it was really interesting and a good opportunity for me to tell you guys a little bit more about myself and about this channel and what I plan to do here. So let's get started on the tag. Question number one, why did you start this channel? I feel like this is everybody's answer for this question, but quite honestly it's the only answer and that's because I love reading, I love books, I love talking about the books that I've read, and I don't have many friends in real life who read a lot of the same books that I do, so I don't have many people to talk to about them. And so when I discovered BookTube, I thought, what a better way to talk about the books that I love to read. And yeah, that's pretty much why I started this channel. Question number two, what are some fun, unique things you can bring to BookTube? Now, honestly, I'm not all that concerned with being unique or different on BookTube. I just kind of want to be me and be here and talk about the books that I like and the books that I've read and not really worry about trying to be something special or something different. I'm just gonna be me and if people like watching me, then that's great and if they don't, that's fine. Honestly, my channel is just a place where I can talk about the things that I like and hopefully other people will be able to comment and talk to me about those things too because they enjoy them as well. I will say, however, in respect to being unique or different, I mean, I do have different reading tastes from a lot of booktubers, but you could say that about pretty much any booktuber. Everyone has different taste. So every booktuber is kind of unique in their own way anyway, so I'm not really going to concern myself with that. <laughs> Question number three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I feel like I'm answering all of these questions with the same thing, but I love reading, so I'm probably most excited about getting to talk about the books that I really like to read, and getting to talk to other real people about them, instead of just sitting on my bed and just keeping it all inside until I start crying. I feel like, again, this is pretty much everyone's answer to this question, but it's because it's true. I mean, that's honestly why all of us are here, because we like to read and we like to talk about what we read. So that's what I'm most excited for, talking about the things that I read. <laughs> I'm also really excited about finally getting to document everything that I'm reading so that in the future I can go back and look at what I read in the past and see how my tastes have changed. And I think that that'll be really interesting to see and I think that it's I think that it'll be a good thing. So I'm I'm also pretty excited about that. Question number 4, why do you love reading? So for me, reading was something that I loved from a very young age, but like I've said in a previous video, I kind of fell out of reading for a little bit in my life and then recently I've gotten back into it. But the reason that I was first interested in reading at all was because of the escape that it provides. It's just such a beautiful thing to be able to go into this completely different world and just be completely immersed into it and experience these characters who end up becoming like your friends and these worlds that end up becoming your dream and it's just such an all around, it's just such an all around beautiful thing that I don't get from anything else. I don't get the same feeling from watching a TV show or watching a movie and that's not to say there aren't movies and sh TV shows that I really love because there absolutely are, but reading is just a completely, completely different experience. Also for me, there have been several books in my life that I've read that have changed who I am as a person, changed the way I view the world. And I think that's one of the most incredible things about reading is that it can have such a big impact on your life. And I really value that. And I really value something that can do that. And so that's why I love it so much. Question number five, what book or series got you into reading? So I feel like this series actually got a lot of people into reading, which I think is a really incredible thing. And that's The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. Um, I read this book when I was 12 years old, so I think it was in the sixth grade, and um, I absolutely loved it. I didn't read much at all before I read this book, 
and I was not interested in reading. I thought it was boring. I And that's mostly because of school doing required reading and forcing us to read specific books that I just didn't want to read. And so um, after I picked this up, I read it so quickly and then I read the rest of them so quickly that I just completely fell in love with them. And though now I have a lot of problems with this series, I still kind of owe this series a lot because it really is what got me into reading. These books are the reason I picked up Harry Potter and they're the reason I picked up the Mortal Instruments and the Hunger Games and everything after that. They, they started everything for me. Even though I have my issues with them now, I, I do owe a lot to this series for for doing that for me, for getting me into reading. And that's honestly why I still haven't taken it off my shelves because I I really, I can't really part with it because it was such a big part of my life at one point. And I'm seriously not kidding, like these books were such a big part of my life that, embarrassing fun fact, my retainer from seventh grade says Twilight on it. Yep, I went through that phase, guys. I went through that phase. <laughs> Question number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? Now, I don't exactly have a favorite booktuber. There are lots of booktubers that I really, really like, but I'm also kind of specific about the booktubers that I like because they kind of have to have the same reading taste as me, otherwise I don't really want to watch their videos only because the books that they recommend I know I'm not going to really like or read. A few of my favorite booktubers are Peru's Project, um, Ink Bones Books, and Thoughts on Tomes, Portal in the Pages, Jesse the Reader. Those are kind of the ones I can just think of off the top of my head. And the question I would ask my favorite booktubers, how on earth do you read so much and so quickly? <laughs> like, I'm a pretty fast reader, but still, you guys read like 14 books in one month. That's, that's insane, and I really hope I can get up there at some point. <laughs> And finally, question number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? Honestly, I think the hardest thing will probably be finding time to film, because editing doesn't take all that much time for me, but finding a good time to film is probably what's most difficult, and I think it'll get even more difficult once school starts for me. Hopefully, when school starts, I'll still be able to put out videos as often as I'm putting them out now, but you never know. <laughs> So that's it guys, that was my booktube newbie tag. If you're new to booktube, I totally tag you to do this video and post it yourself and leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely check it out because I am always for finding new booktubers because booktubers are great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and follow me on my social media if you want to and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. With Merkwood running through here. The misty mountains and I just oh, I eat this stuff up. I love it so much. These maps are so beautiful. I want them as my wallpaper.